what is going on guys so today we're going to talk about how the military doesn't make you fit now this video is kind of dedicated to those of you out there that are hoping that the military is going to make you fit you're hoping that the military is going to get you in shape and you're going to stay in shape and you're going to be in the military and so you don't ever have to worry about going to the gym and working out anymore because you're in the army now you're in the marines now you're in the air force the navy the coast guard whatever that's not the case y'all now as far as initial training goes that's kind of the case right so it kind of depends on your state of fitness whenever you actually get to your initial training so for the army basic training it depends right so some people will ask me if i'm going to be in better shape after basic training than i was before going to basic training and it depends right it really just depends for me i think i was in worse shape i know i was definitely weaker i was definitely in less like physically good looking shape or whatever the two things that i improved on was my run time and I improved on my ruck marching. Ruck marching, I still hate ruck marching, but it's something that the more of you, the more that you do, the better you're gonna get at it. I'm better at it now than I was before I joined the military, but uh, pretty much there's nothing else. I'm better at running and I'm better at rucking, and that's pretty much it. Now, if it wasn't for my personal dedication to running, I will promise you right now that before I joined the military and right now, even if I was active duty, if you guys didn't know I'm in the reserves, I would not be in a better a better shape at running, right? It's just something that you have to do yourself. And that is what I wanna to talk to you about today, is that you, you're gonna join the military, you're gonna probably get broken down a little bit, you're gonna get in some pretty good shape, you know, initially, especially if you're not in great shape whenever you get to your basic training environment, wherever you're gonna go. You're gonna get in pretty good shape there, and then you're gonna leave, you're gonna to go to your, your school, um, whether that's your AIT or for another branch, you're gonna probably stay in shape there, and then you're gonna to get to your actual unit, where a lot of times the PT, it's not gonna be five days a week, maybe it'll be three days a week. And then you're gonna be up, it's gonna be up to you to actually train and get better the, the rest of the days of the week, right? And then on top of all that, Army PT isn't necessarily geared towards getting you into like the best shape ever, right? You're gonna do running three days a week, pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but as far as muscle training goes, there's really not that much of it. You're not gonna be building muscle doing army PT. If that's something that you wanna do, you're gonna to have to do that yourself. So you're gonna to have to go to PT in the morning and do whatever PT that they have you do. And then after the duty day is over, you're then gonna to have to go and work out at the gym and take your supplements, take um, protein and all that stuff if you wanna build some muscle, right? So it's gonna be heavily dependent on you. And then again, PT, it's, it's almost like a maintainer, right? So the army specifically is going to get you in shape initially, and then you're gonna start doing PT when you get to your unit. Well, if you're only doing that PT, depending on your shape that you're in, this will be different for everybody, depending on the shape that you're in, if you're only doing that, you might be decreasing you know, from where you are then, you might be getting a little bit out of shape compared to where you were before. You might have to supplement that stuff with more exercise at the end of the day. Because for most people, I'm just saying, it's not gonna be enough. It's kind of just mobility stuff. You're gonna get to obviously run and everything. You might do some push-ups and some pull-ups and things. And it's gonna, PT is gonna vary across the board wherever you go. But PT in the mornings is not supposed to be something that's meant that's going to like get you in super duper awesome great shape. So for those of you who are looking at the military and you're hoping that's going to get you in shape and you're going to stay in shape, I'm just going to let you know, get that attitude out of your head. It is not up to the military to get you in shape. It is up to yourself to get you in shape. It is up to you to actually do what you need to do. And it might take some extra time at the end of the day. It might take some extra time at the beginning of the day. You might have a little bit of time after PT to do some extra running or to just go straight to the gym after you're done with your PT session. But uh, more than likely, right more like really it's a very high chance right i'm not sure what physical shape you guys are in or how your bodies you know uh, react to certain things but more than likely you're going to have to make some of your own time to still work out in addition to the pt that you're going to do in the military and one more thing that i want to add here at the end of this video is we have the new pt test coming in the army the acft it's got a whole bunch of different events in it 
that you're gonna have to train for some. Like you're not gonna be doing deadlifts at PT more most of the time. So you're gonna have to train in the gym doing some deadlifts to figure this stuff out to actually get in better shape, right? So the ACFT PT test coming up, the leg tuck, the release push up, some of these other exercises, you might have to do some additional exercises to prepare yourself for that. And you know, I haven't made a video on it yet, but if you're at the end of this video watching, if you haven't already started preparing for the ACFT, I would definitely recommend it because come October 1st, it is getting initiated. We're, we're doing the ACFT. Unless your unit doesn't have the gear yet, which is probably the case for some people, but regardless, if you haven't started training for the ACFT, I'm gonna have a little exercise uh, video sometime coming out soon about different exercises that you can do. But again, these are gonna be things that you're gonna be doing on your own. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be awesome. If you Instagram some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That would be even better. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, social media links are right there. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. And I will see you later. Drop.